<laughs> yes. Greetings, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Pretzel, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Seriously, come on. Every time you start up the stream, there we go. Pretzel just. Uh, they were getting DJ, uh, pretzel music, pretzel rocks, the web service I actually use, was uh, uh, getting DDoSed earlier today. So there is actually an excuse behind it. There's a reason why it's kind of broken. Uh, Mr. Foxbot Games, how are you doing tonight, this fine Monday evening? Pretty good. Ooh. Uh, we are down in Aerodonti Tribal. He is out on the road doing a fetch quest, as Mr. Dark Preacher said so. Um, he's got some errands he's running, but he might step in towards the end of the stream. Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Mr. Perkcraft. I appreciate it. Uh, we had Rushman and uh, XD the Gang 2 follow the channel at some point over the last couple of days. Um, yeah. Uh, do not forget, today is Amazon Prime Day, and there's a metric ton of games that have been given away by Twitch and uh, Amazon Prime. Lots of good stuff, some stuff that I'm probably going to be delving into over the course of the next few days. Uh, so, yeah. Ooh, Trinity Bundle. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, for Warframe, 20, Trinity Rumble. If you do not have Trinity Prime, it's a quick and easy way to get Trinity Prime. Trinity Prime is probably the best healer and energy provider in Warframe at this point in time. We are on the Coop Live 2 server this fine, fine Monday evening, picking up where the Coop Street Mafia left off. We have Mars on our agenda for this evening, and I'm going to make it possible for tourists to come with us. Um, I have an idea, and... Uh, uh, so, okay, markers. What I'm going to do is set up a vending machine down near the public teleporters so that people can buy a marker and give it to us. And basically, uh, buying a marker means that they can get whitelist access to our teleporters from Mars and the moon and stuff like that. Does that make sense? All right. So, people who want to go and get some of the stuff from the moon and Mars but do not have the patience necessary to build the rockets and the yada yada can basically just kind of hitch a ride with us and use our teleporters. So I'm going to set up a vending machine down there near the teleporters, but I need something to use as a marker. I was thinking a renamed piece of paper, maybe? What do you think? That works. Yeah, okay. I, I think I'm going to do that. a ton of experience, though. Um... Mallrat28 says, making experience. some chicken salad. Sacrilege! I mean, okay, it's okay. I, <laughs> I, I, I understand. We are delicious. Um, That sounds weird. Uh, SG Maniac says, by the way, Faye, I got you on the big screen tonight. Just learned that my new TV will cast Twitch. I think mine will. The trouble is the software that's built into mine wants to update itself once every 45 minutes. Um, It's not really once every 45 minutes, but it actually is about once or twice a day. And the whole TV has to reboot for five minutes when it does that. And it's super annoying, so we just stopped using the software. Um, uh, Derek Pritchard says, I snagged Tyranny. Might spin that up after finishing all the Shadowrun games. Here's my only gripe. My only single gripe where I look a gift horse in the mouth regarding to the free Amazon or Twitch Prime games, none of them have descriptions. It's about five screenshots, maybe a video. That's it. I don't know what any of those games are. I have to guess based upon either previous knowledge or I have to go look them up on the web somewhere. And some of the names are... Uh, not very safe to search for if you do not put enough arguments into the uh, Google search field. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, <laughs> that's not fun. Freya Dona says, uh, Freya needs to find a Sharpie. Hi, Freya, what's going on? Uh, I wish I had a TV that could stream Twitch. Yeah, says uh, RRB Russell. How you doing, RRB? What's going on? There's Pops rolling in. I've been using YouTube to watch trailers and some quick and some gang quick, uh, quick, quick throughs. That must be a Fergism. I don't understand that one. Um, uh, okay. So I think I'm going to make, uh, let's see, what is it called at good? I think it is good old currency and it is, um, betting machine. I don't think we have that one memorized I don't think we have that one memorized and everything else we do though so now what I can do 
is put that there. I'm going to pull two of these bad boys out. Let's see. Paper. Um, uh, I don't know how much it costs to rename something in the anvil. I'm just going to pull out a whole bunch of stockpiled experience. Hi, Sharpie! Red Sharpie. Oh, my bad. Wrong Sharpie, yes. <sighs> What's going on, Sharpie? How are you? Grim Tides is here also. Snuck in some more. So many people. I hope everybody's doing really, really good. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Grimco. Travel Pass. Okay, I have a stack of Grimco Travel Pass. That was nice and easy. Um, <laughs> that was a little easy. Yep, it was one level of experience for an entire stack of paper. So I'm going to go over to the public. Nope, teleporters. Let's see, workshop and Copper Mountain. Dial. Boom! Look, I didn't die this time either. Okay. Uh, let's do right here. I'm gonna do kerplonk, kerplonk. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's gonna look like butt. I need to fix that. Hold on. That was a 100 bits cheer for Jen. Woohoo! I has no bits. Stupid Twitch ads hate me, says the wife. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not hitting me today, too. Okay. Oh, I, that's not where I wanted to go. <laughs> Surprise! Let's kill. I'm actually going to put this on marble. Our bee yard is full of flowers. Like, I don't see one glass grass block that's not flowered. Yeah. Okay, yeah, vending machine. Oh, we want to put this here. And uh, let's do... Um... Yeah, there we go. Grimco Travel Pass. Uh, with a moderate price of $20. Honestly, that's about 20 minutes worth of quests. Actually, about 10 minutes worth of quests. At spawn, you can get that real easy. Turn in some ores, chop down some trees. And uh, you will have that done very, very quick. This font is horrible. It is dark on dark. Who thought this up? Here, you can see what I'm looking at. Welcome to my hell. This is Vagrom Vision. Dark Preacher says, I got a fast pass. You did, yes. It's called bribery. Plots to make counterfeit copies of said passes despite not being on the server. You realize this machine will actually let me know how many we've sold, right? <laughs> oh. Apparently my wife just got her taste buds kicked by a falafel. Um, <laughs> it's barely better in color. It's just as bad all around. It's as dark. It says uh, TTFT cuts. Yeah, it probably is. Um, okay, so I can close that. Those things have uh, a price: twenty bucks for one lifetime pass. I'm going to let's see to the workshop. Dial once. I need to start using the dial once button more often. Apparently, um, let's get. This bad boy, Mr. Uh, Fox, I don't know if you've seen, I tried to complete the path down to your uh, launch tube. I do see that now. I, I just kind of fly over to it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a little cattywampus and I need to straighten it out, but it's there. Um, okay, let's see. What have I been? What the heck have I been up to? Well, uh, one thing that I did in between streams, let's clear that out. Uh, I've swapped over. From other kinds of armor, like gem armor and whatnot, I'm using Survival Systems by very own Grimco employee, Mr. Mallrat208. Um, we used this a ton in the Wasted Pack uh, because it was a really great upgradable solution for breathing out in the poisonous atmosphere. Well, those same air tanks right there actually work. I'm going to cheat and do that. There we go. 
um, actually work in the uh, uh, Galacticraft areas. The moon, Mars, stuff like that. We even have a patch upcoming, uh, an update to the pack that is already live on Curse. It's just not on the server yet. Where the anti-fog coating that lists right here that's normally usable for underwater will help a little bit on Venus. It's not an end-all, be-all magic bullet, but yeah. Um, you hear noises in my background? I have a cousin behind me. Slap them! Slap them hard. I'd rather not slap them, thank you. <laughs> uh, um, Cut says, honestly, it's barely better in color. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'd say it's easier to read in Vagrant Vision because the background is visibly lighter, so contrasts better with the shadows. Yeah, it's still not right, though. To be fair, the Netherlands is just across the pond. Huh? You almost mixed up me and Cuts. How on earth is that possible? I'm Dutch, American, he's British. Oh, wait for it. Uh, I, I'll, I'll confuse anybody with anybody else. Just give me half a, half a chance. Um, uh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. So yeah, okay. So the 1.0.6 update for the pack that is now live on Curse. It just It's not on the server yet. It's still flagged as beta. We haven't had a chance to test it. But I expect by Wednesday it'll probably be flagged as release. Um... The anti-fog coating will help with visibility slightly on Venus. Now, we're not going to Venus. We're going to Mars. We have to go to Mars first before we can Venus, but we're fixing to do that here in just a minute. Uh, but you can notice I have wonderful things like... Actually, I'm going to do this over here in the wonderful workbench. Take the helmet off. Put it in here. I've got night vision enhancement. I've got anti-fog coating upgrades for easier uh, uh, visibility while under, under fluids. <laughs> uh, it does help with visibility under lava. There's just a whole pesky thing of fire and dying. Um, modifies the EV helmet, provides air when underwater. Consume 10 air, so it refills your air bar, basically, from the air tanks. I, I have diamond armor plating upgrades in this thing. It's very nice. Chest, I've got two oxygen tanks. So instead of... Uh, uh, the native suit has 2,000 air in it. Then each one of these upgrades it by 1,000, so I have 4,000 air. Uh, air brake module, which means I don't take fall damage. This is kind of redundant because I have a, a ring, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, that lets me fly, but eh, whatever. Um, and then I have the flux converter. Okay, here's the cheaty thing, right? This means that you can refill the air compressor ta compression tanks on the suit with RF. And I have an Enderium capacitor with 25 million RF sitting in my bauble slots. So all I have to do is basically... Take off and put back on the chest, and it will automatically refill the air as long as I have battery power. It's great. Um, speed upgrades for movement. Ballistic thermal insulation. Um, I got more thermal insulation. Some hydro thrusters for better movement under fluids. Shock wave dampening to reduce explosion damage, um, just in case. So that's what I'm rolling right now for armor. I am thinking now is time. Where is this dialed to? Nope. That's dialed to the wrong place. I want to go dial once. Boop. To the rocketry platform. And we're going to go back here. Whee. Oh, Hanzi sneaking in with five bits. How you doing, oh, Hanzi? Um, RRB says, uh, Russell. I'm just going to call you Russell. Russell says... Sounds like me. I can I can remember faces, but I can't remember names. Dark Breacher says, usually it comes out as, hey, you, pain in the butt, with me pointing at them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here we go. This is the launch platform we got right here. I really like this thing. It's awesome. I think Mr. Fox did a great job on it. I love the kind of the teardrop slope shape to it on the top. Hey, Night Pirate, what's going on? In the Game Sync Land Center. Maniac says, confused. How does a compressor refill a tank in a vacuum? It's magic. Um, I mean, RF, technically speaking, Redstone Flux, is a is a kind of a pseudo magical power system. So, uh, okay, do you have you have a box with parts? Ooh, tier two rocket and everything. Wait a minute, they're not. One of them is partially fueled, the other one is less partially fueled, and the third is empty. I don't know either. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab one. Thermal padding. And filled fuel, oh, filled fuel canisters. This is important. Fuel. Okay. I just um, put four in there because if I put 
three stacks of four in there, it filled up. Okay. No fuel to load. Do I need to... You need to stick the canisters in the fuel loader that are next to the platform. Okay, that's one canister. Should I put all of them in there? No. I think even one was just fine, considering yeah. how you already had some in it. Yeah, okay. Pressing, pressing. There's an empty. Um... Okay, thermal. Oh, okay. These go over here in these slots. Interesting. What are you interesting? You'll notice no air tanks in the Galacticraft slots. Ooh. I'm a rebel. Uh, Mr. Nightpart1 says, Are you on the stream alone? Not, I am not. I have with me, as always, the intrepid Foxbot Games. Eridani cannot make it. He's out doing, out doing a fetch quest. But he will be joining us later, hopefully. Yeah, Grimtide says magic. Dark Preacher says aliens. Um, any space bees and or chickens yet? Have not gotten that far. We still haven't even done end bees yet. So yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, Mr. Roo's on. Hi, Mr. Roo. I didn't see Mallrat on. He snuck off. Rat. Uh, let's see. I need to make sure we're going to want to have. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. No. Advanced power cell. Uh, we're not going to have air set up just yet because I don't feel like dealing with another network card. But what I should do and head on over to the powerhouse here real quick. Uh, zoom. Zoom, I say. Ooh. Okay. Go over here. No. Okay, I have to make one. Uh, where's this dial to? Workshop. Perfect. Okay. Okay. I need... Let's do power. <laughs> he didn't sneak off. He failed to join. Oh. He must have updated. Uh, he probably updated and didn't realize that I didn't... I didn't update the server because the moment I was going to shut the server down and actually restart the... I mean, uh, start the update was when Preacher started his live stream. I was like, oh, yeah, that's happening now. I shouldn't update the server. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go yeah, here. Lunatic just asked. This is, isn't the server updating today? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be updating later this evening. It's partial mod update. Oh, testing stuff. Oh, okay. Um, so we've got power. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and pull out, let's see, matter. Uh, what? Okay. That's weird. Uh, matter. I must have optimized myself out of a out of a pattern on that one. I want to do. I actually don't think we need one of those. Um, dial. That's. Mm -mm. Yep, I unlearned that for some silly reason. I have no clue why. I'm going to go over the tech closet. Uh, leadstone, leadstone, resonant. I only actually need like a quarter of that stack. I think... Rocketry, dial once. Okay, we got teleporters to establish a base of operations up there. We're not going to be able to air seal it just yet, so, uh, yeah. The Cougar no says, worries. hey, Bigram. Almost has a decent amount of EMC. What? What, 200 million? I have 200 million being split between three people, I will remind you. I use my transmutation tablet more. I have about, what is it? I have 41,000 in it? Yeah. Um, Dark Purchase says, not my fault to have a schedule posted. Yes, you do. And I forgot to check it. That was actually my fault. I meant to do the update earlier in the afternoon and got preoccupied with other stuff. Um, doing other stuff did not entail playing Warframe. Anybody that says otherwise is a liar. Um, 
Oh, I know why those two rockets had fuel in them. Why? It's because the fuel loaders here already had fuel in them from when we went to the moon. Oh, okay. So I put them down, and then it clicked in my head. If I were to log off and then someone come by and steal these, that would be a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> and then I put them in a chest right here. <laughs> uh, we technically don't need to worry about fuel for the return trip. I'm just dumping these in here. Why not? Um, because we can teleport back. So, so Steam is a liar. Yes, it is a liar. Are you still using those old ducks? What, Resonant? Yeah, because we've been waiting for somebody else to uh, start selling us Cryothium Flux ducks. We have a hot lead on somebody on the server that's going to start selling them to us. I just need to line up when to talk with said person so we can swap out the entire base. Uh, I look forward to that experiment. Not. Um, yeah. Um, Kuga says, I haven't played in weeks, but I was at about 600 million. Yes, those two actually do tie together, by the way. You haven't played in weeks and you have 600 million. That Those link, that's causal, not incidental. Uh, we don't have 600 million because we're not power gaming because we don't want to burn out in two weeks. Uh, okay. Do we need anything else, Fox? We've got our thermal insulator stuff. Um, no. According to the book, you only need the thermal insulation and oxygen gear. Okay. I've got my oxygen covered. I've got plenty of back battery on my flux capacitor. Um, oh, and maybe a hook shot. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a sec. Uh, grappling hook and then string. I'm actually just going to do two st stacks of this stuff just in case. Um, yep. Okay. Are we ready for Mars launch? Yep. I'm in my human morph just in yeah, case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is a wise decision. Okay, now I see that shield generation on you. <laughs> okay, I am... G, fuel? Oh, yeah, fuel's fine. Okay. There we go. Triggering. I, oh, I, I should have probably put mine on the pad opposite instead of middle and side. I got back blast from both of you last time. Um, anyone build the de Galacticraft Deconstructor and use it on rockets? There's a Deconstructor? Yes. Okay, I, I don't touch the controls. I just let it go straight up. But we are pulling away at record speeds. Woo! Yeah, the higher tiers are faster when getting out of orbit. Yeah, no kidding. This is way faster than the tier one. I can't wait for the three. Um, They're in my vending machine at spawn. Oh, you actually have them uh, already set up at spawn? I didn't know that. I need to go look. Uh, Lunatic. Port there is Lunatic. Apparently, Asylum. I can go to Venus. I don't know. I can okay. just select Venus. Nope. You got a Mars. Um, uh, launchy, launchy. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, bye. What, what the heck? <laughs> oh, God. I had a parachute. Now I'm a big bouncy ball. Oh, it's night. Ouch. <laughs> Is it nighttime? It's nighttime. There's a bunch of enemies around me. I want to get out. <laughs> They're hurting me, though. So I gotta... Ow. Should have brought an empty canister. I am going to. Are you okay? Or are you gonna die? Uh, I, I'm fine. Um, I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna roll. I get constant this. healing from the uh, stone. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> it's just a cast nets problem, mine. Aha! Two shots. Touche! It is nighttime here. Erg. Um, I wonder how long we have until daytime. 
No, get away from me. Flight works. Yeah, it does. I had to use it to ah get some. Di oh go! I just angered an Enderman. I think he's behind you. Ow! Ow! I grabbed your rocket. <laughs> just die already. Okay. Um, let's see. Yep, chicken mode engaged. Welcome to early game in the overworld. There now be a hole in the floor. Yep. And tall stuff can't get in here. Or I can just place down an interdiction torch. Oh, do you have one? Yeah, I have one learned. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Um. Okay, we're going to do this. And a little bit of this. Get all this stuff out of the way. We're going to put the battery down put that there all sides to out make sure I actually have everything hooked up as opposed to uh, just a couple of things um not that I ever actually hooked up a teleporter wrong and accidentally killed preacher that's not a thing that happened um CSM Mars base I'm gonna do private. Let's see. Back to the game. Give me a second while I whitelist some people. It's my normal start on a server. Always there at night. Yeah. I have the same luck. A space gun says Night Pirate. Um. <laughs> And no cryo beds yet. We don't have any cryo beds yet. Um, need to make sure in whitelist myself. Well, that's cheap. I can make. Oh no. <laughs> you can make what? I said I can make that now. No, no, I can't. I need compressed dish. Yep. Which is why we're here. Okay. Now I need to do the whole thing all over again. Um, I really wish the name field would clear when you added somebody. That would be so nice. But now I have to click on it. Can't even right click and erase it. I have to left click on it and hold down the backspace key. Um. <laughs> I'm just watching this zombie run towards me and then constantly get pushed away. Uh, awesome. And it looks like you already hit the favorite button on the dialer, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to get out one of those and then put it back. I actually don't know if it matters or not, but whatever. Enter diction torch. I'm going to put one there and one there. And that should do us just dandy. Is that the sun coming up? Yeah, it is. Okay, awesome. Now, let's skewer some fools. Whoopsie. Bye, oh. Enderman. I was about to say, <laughs> what? Okay, so home base. Uh, let's do that. Do that. Hey, Kiro. 
Dig in and build a temporary underground base. Yep. That's my normal start. Okay. Uh, no, it wasn't hooked up wrong. It just had no power because the linking card went poof. Yes, exactly. I technically did all have all the power cables hooked up, but for some reason our linking card disappeared. I still don't know what happened to that linking card, and I still have a sneaking suspicion. Somebody, quote-unquote, borrowed it, and they're powering their base with it, but I cannot prove that. Um, and yes, there were witnesses. Uh, yeah, hey, Kira, what's going on? How are you? That's the power of being a personality, Vey. You can poke mod authors about things like that. Yes, that is true, Maniac. That's 100% true. Okay, so we have a base of operations. Um, I've got some defensive tools. Um, I got a grappling hook so I don't float the heck away. I have a drill. Uh, I'm going to go cause some mayhem. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Let's get this thing set on five by five. I'm going to go, I don't know, over here. I'm then... actually going to run around and pick up some meteorites. Ow. It pushed me away when I broke it. Oh, okay. Just slow. Let's see if I can go find a slime. Can we only... Oh, are the slimes on this planet? Yes. Oh, the slimes are kind of adorable. Kind um, of. Kind of. Can we only get the, uh, the... What is it? Dash we're looking for? Is that only from meteorites, or can we mine it up? No, that's the dash. You have to mine it up out of out of the ground. Oh, you know what I should have made? Meteorites just give us the iron. Red oh. slimeling egg. Oh. I can't remember. Do I break it or I should have made a scannables thing. Yes. Crap, okay. Let's Mars Regolith. No, come on. Its favorite food is redstone repeaters. Is it? That's a little wacky. Mars fine regolith. Okay. That's fine. I, I don't know why. Um, Are you following me, slime? Are you stuck? Oh, there you go. Just got to get far enough away. Oh, I see you. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I need to hang on a sec. I need to move my... Uh... Nope. Wrong thing. Chop oh, right. your new favorite food is gunpowder. Okay. We can do that. Gunpowder is way easier. Um, all right, says open your mind. Get back over here. Uh, yay, it's ugly, but my crusher to furnace factory works now, says Russell. <laughs> it all starts off ugly, doesn't it? I mean, really. Okay, and now it wants a... Stone sword. <laughs> That's still not bad on the EMC spectrum. I'm kind of wondering when I should start digging outside. How deep do I need to go to get some of this regolith? I mean, uh, this uh, dash, do you know? I do not. Okay. I should have made a scannables thing. I really should have, but I, I was not diligent. Um, You know, I can do, though. Question is, can mm -hmm. I craft... Hi, oh, excuse Can me. I capture it. I'm sorry. We need to pause the stream. Hi, Alchemist. Mallrat208 has joined the server, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, you don't understand. This is a monumental thing that happens at least once or twice a week. This is important. Can you detect the smart ass in my voice? I love it. Yes, everyone bow. Hey, Katrine, what's going on? How are you? Okay, cool. I can pick up my slime lane with a golden lasso. I'm going to head back to Terra Firma real quick. And uh, workshop dial. Vlogging That's across not my fault. The infinite darkness. Boop. And I'm back in the workshop. No worse for wear. Uh, did I use some air? Yes, I did. Look, it's recharged it automatically. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, nah, nah. I can't I'm, remember the colors of the slimes. This is a perfect opportunity. Kind of. Yes. All hail the high alchemist bow before my grandeur. Uh, no. It's going to his head now. <laughs> yeah. All ego. Okay. Uh, let's do scanner. Boop. 
Make one of these. It was worth a shot. <laughs> uh, it was. Um, okay, and that's charged up automatically. Now I need to make blank scanner module. I knew there was a blue slime thing. Okay, let's see. Range. I'm going to make one of those. i got to remember real quick. Modules. <laughs> According to Night Pirate, dash can be found, dash or can be found between layers 0 to 128 with a frequency of 10, well, 15 clumps every chunk. I'm not sure if this is going to be rare or common. Or block. Just put them all. <laughs> Let's do common. I heard somebody elevator in behind me. Nev me. I was refill refilling my tanks because I was floating around the space station before the stream. Shift, right click. We can put this in. Put this in. Now, here's the thing that's brilliant that I really like about this mod. This is going to seem like a really simple thing that shouldn't make a difference, but those are the quality of life features that make the difference in a mod, okay? You see this slot that says modules. This is all the active stuff. You can only have three active modules at a time, including range. Inactive. This is where you put all the things not currently being used. So you just swap them between, which means technically speaking, once you make one of everything, it's all in the tool. You're just shuffling it between active and inactive. That's a really nice thing. I mean, like, really, really nice. Uh, let's see. Fluids, entities. Uh, I'm going to go with this for now. Uh, let's go to... Uh, nope. Workshop. Mars base. Favorited. I um, just clicked in my head. I don't have the drill. I do. You should be able to pull one out of the system. Lucky. <clears throat> I think there's a pattern for the flux endearium flux board in there. There is. I don't know if it's got any charge because I pulled it. Uh, we have an infuser. Oh, I like how the teleport beam sticks up out of the dirt. Um, <laughs> okay. It does. Yeah, it does. Um, it's kind of funny. Okay, you get this thing. Charge it up. Oh, okay. See, I'm seeing some. Which means we go three by three by three. Charge it up. Boom. No, I'm not going to dig with my bow. And there's these big stashes back here. Marat says, I absolutely love Scannable. And I, I'd see why. I found ice on Mars. I found texture unfinished. Or. Whoops. <laughs> hey, Marat, we did put the texture in this. Did we misspell something? Did I screw up Martian the Martian iridium. Because it's not been fixed in 106. That's for sure. <clears throat> Atomic Blom says, oh, wow, is that? Wait a minute. Somebody check their watch. What time is it? 7.43. It's 8.43 for you. So we're only 40, 40 minutes into the stream, and Blom is already showing up. It's not the end of the stream. He's early. Something's wrong. Yeah. Stream what? The stream isn't ending? Exactly. <clears throat> Yeah, Scannable is an awesome mod. I was just talking about how you do shift, right click on it, and it's got these upgrade slots. You have space for three active and six inactive. And the fact that you can keep so many different cards in here, if you wanted to, it's a really nice quality of life feature. It's a small detail, but the fact that you have a place to store the cards you're not currently using is really nice. <clears throat> okay, so this looks like it's going to be... Um, some of that. Okay. Oh, well, there's different. Wow. Okay. We're getting a little farther down. Let's go all the way down here real quick. I really do like Scannable. It was a great addition to the pack. I probably should have used it sooner. Um, nobody said I was the smartest chicken in the coop. Okay. I'm just going to go down this way. 
It's a little weird. It's kind of hard to find the Mars dungeons because there's 8 million craters. Yeah. Aha! Yes! What's that? Oh, that's an arrow. Ah, that flew quite the distance. We've got some iridium. Texture missing dot iridium dot ore. But we've also got some iron ore. What? Who cares about iron ore? Um, I want dash. Dash it. Gosh, dash it. Gosh, dash it. And there's more <gasps> dash. Ooh, ah! I have enough XP to craft another. Oh, dash! Ma ha 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 Keep in mind we can press one of those and then we'll never have to worry about dash again. Yep, so we have some. Low G mining, everybody. It's the next big thing. I'm going to turn this on. I'm just going to tag with it. Magnet mode. I'm a casual scrub. Who cares? Yada, yada, yada. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, awesome. Oh, it's going to be night again, or it already is? Dot .exe? It's night. Oh no, um, run away! I lost the base. Um, I have a waypoint. I turned it off. <laughs> ah, picked from the top, the best of their class, ladies and gentlemen. Only the finest interns for Grimgo. I mean, really. Uh, let's see, Mars Stone. Excuse me, Mars I sent Stone. some sarcasm in that. Never! Okay, we have some dash. Um, so, unless we really dash this up. Orion Drive? Galactic Craft Planets? Do we need That's any? for the, um, Do we need the Orion Drive? Astro Miner. Oh, okay, we probably need the Orion Drive. Um, smelting, which means dash ingot, which has EMC! Awesome. Which means... Ooh, cool. Really diligent. Um, we can do this, and then coal. <laughs> you aren't paid to send sarcasm. Oh. Yes. I'm uh, not paid at all, to be honest. Oh, uh, no. I didn't pick <laughs> that up. You're the one with the magnet on. <laughs> yep, I have no clue. So if we put this in here, I'm just going to do a, a and dash. Hooray for dash! 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 Why is Hi, Aridani. Hi. Aridani, how you doing? I live. Was your fetch quest accomplished? It was accomplished. Okay, our system knows EM our system knows Dash now. Dashing it. No! Dash is a nice guy. He lives down by the river. Um <laughs> you get access to the Oh. <laughs> what? You just threw it in your my brain farting for a second. I'm like, how did you put Dash in the system? We're not even the system can't even access my it. system. Ah, ha, ha. I mean, what? Um, <laughs> okay. Dash was, uh, what? I'm sorry. Is hooray marked as a swear word? Yeah. Auto mod. Honestly, I just need to go turn it off. It's dumb. I've got moderators galore. There's so many people with ban hammers in here. It's just, it's, it's hilarious. Um, what happens if I put that in there? Is that different okay, from all this stuff. something explodes? <laughs> make make sure you put your thermal underwear on. No, nope, <sighs> it's not different. Okay, so we do oh, that. Uh, How do you set a portal location? Interdimensional. How do you what what? How do you set a portal uh, shift location? Shift right charger. Uh, shift right click on a receiver. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, mall rat. Apparently he's a little taller than uh, uh, we need. Hang on a second. Um, sorry, we're height prejudiced here. Let's get some pine regolith. That'll look prettier. Let's do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> two thirds of the viewers are mods, pretty much. Basically. Okay. Awesome. I'm all right. Actually, no. Only about one third this time around. And again, I don't. No, I haven't seen some of these people talk yet. Oh, I heard that. 
Boom. I am here. Oh, I'm our answer, too. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we have a one block high doorway. Sorry, sorry, Mallrat. Um, we're a little prejudiced. Yeah, we are height prejudiced. Um, we're shortest. Um, or are we tallest? I can't remember. There's already one down. Yeah, we have one here. down here. There's two in here. <laughs> it went somewhere. Oh, there it went. I'm just going to put it right there. Just keep things off the roof. Uh, awesome. Okay. Mr. Aridani is IT. He gets called in from the head office when we need something hooked up. I'm quite sure he's probably hooking up the uh, refined, wireless system. <laughs> the wireless refined storage. Somebody exploded. That's okay. You're tasty, too. Hey. Hey. We'll take you off the whitelist. You'll be stuck up here. Um... Okay. Uh, let me catch up on chat here real quick. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. I thought interns got picked based upon their lack of ability to run away. 100% true. That also helps. The prevention of fleeing is very, very useful in terms of capturing. I mean, recruiting. Um, how willing they are to wear red. Um, how much XP did you earn, Eridani Tribal, for your fetch quest? Uh, none. It was instead a free ticket to Carl's Jr. Um. <laughs> there you go. My bow's broken again. I want a laser gun. And we have wireless access. Thank you. I will be sending a closure request for that support ticket to the IT department. <laughs> um, okay. Yay! I can access the everything up here. This is awesome. I know. Uh, so now we need like a one block tall shield projector and we can airtight the base. Okay, awesome. Let's see, I'm gonna, I need to, let's get on top here. And I'm gonna go towards my go. mining hole. I'm gonna go north. And we have infinite range of wireless on this godforsaken planet. <laughs> um, cut our hole, exactly. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. The refreshments lady is here. She's very nice. I think she's cute. Hi, Jen. Um. Okay. There's a thing over here. Cryo chambers. <laughs> oh, we can make. We have cryo chambers now. Yep. Um. I'm going to try to crack open this fallen a meteorite, fallen meteor, and get to its creamy caramel center. What happened? I got nothing. Oh, yeah, I did. That ah, spider. Yep. My stick is bigger than your stick, Mr. Spider. Okay, I'm going to keep going north. I got my waypoint. The Society for the Prote Locking Protection of Equal point. Heights is going to organize a protest. <laughs> Most likely. I tell you what, once we get a posh lobby built uh, for the casino, they can protest in the lobby. As long as they buy some coffee every once in a while. What is this thing? A blue sliming egg. Slimeling egg. What do I do with it? Break it. Oh, there's a thing! It's got eyes! It's also claimed to you. Thank you. Um... There are cryo beds. Whoops! Remember the thing I did earlier? I pissed off one of the tall people again. Um... I'm... Go, go, go away. I think everybody has to sleep. Uh, hang on a sec. You may have to change that setting. Oh. Uh, I can't sleep because it's probably going to swap up my chest plate. Which means I would suffocate. No, you can't use the sleeping bed back. Nope. Don't blow. There's cryo chambers back over by the uh, teleporter. Yep. Okay, I found a yellow one. I'm heading Don't back. keep breaking them. Why? You're going to have like three slimes chasing you the entire way home. <laughs> I 
Uh, Fallen Meteor. I am heading back. It's interesting, because, like, the top two... Oh. <laughs> They're done these in the ceiling. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sir, sir, Maniac I hope you're says, okay. <laughs> Maniac says two thirds of the viewers are mods, right? Yeah, it's about that's about correct. That is about the ratio. Um, I see a smoking zombie. That's a little weird. Uh, I mean, they they burn in daylight when they don't have helmets, but they're wearing glass helmets. So that's still weird. So weird. As a member of an IT support team, I need to point out that planetary trips are an extra charge, says Maniac. Yep, that sounds about right. I don't need to sleep anymore. It's daytime. Yeah, it's it's daytime. I guess the day night cycle here is a lot uh faster? Yeah. Look, I can see the overworld. Really? Oh Where? look at that. See that little dot in the sky towards the sun? That's the overworld? Yep. yep. Wow, I thought I left a waypoint on somewhere. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of which, waypoint. Yeah, I would make a waypoint. Come on, guys. I would make a waypoint now before you take off. Take off, eh? Eh. <laughs> There's a blue and a yellow sludge thing <laughs> following Vagram. Yep. That's Percy and Reginald. I'm gonna pick this stuff up. What do I do with these things? If you you can open them, their inventory, and you can rename them, and then down at the bottom it says favorite food, and then like say gunpowder or stone sword. If you if you right click them with that item, they will it'll bring up a menu that you can grow them, um, heal them. What else? Breed them if there's two of them, I think. Percy! Or they're large enough. Percy ran away. Are we suffocating again? Are we doing the chicken suffocating thing? Yes. I have my sound turned down, so I my can't tell. My arrow bounced away from the spider. Okay, I want you to sit. Come here. Spider gave me a cobweb. Oh god, your thing's emeralds? How do you reset it? Yeah, you don't. You oh. feed him it. Oh, God. Okay. Or eventually wait, and he'll change it. Um, duh, duh, duh. We have the untextured iridium ore is in the system. Um, actually don't you can make two stacks of string. I want some... Uh, let's do... Gunpowder and an emerald. Excuse uh, me, where did you go, sir? Bro. Hello, Reginald. Where's Reginald? He needs to. He's over here. Sit. <laughs> Follow. Come here, Percy. Wow, you've got 25. Hundred, well, 2,400 buckets of refined fuel. <laughs> um, gunpowder. Um, grow, grow, strengthen, strengthen, grow. Slimer, get back grow, here. Strengthen. Oh, God. No, no, come, come here. Heal. He wants a stone. Dang it. Following. Okay, come here. Come here. Sit. Sorry, guys. This is all we're doing this stream. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. What the heck? Uh, Emerald. This guy still wants... This is... Reginald is going to bankrupt me. I, I don't really know what purpose these things serve. They don't. They're a pet. Oh, he wants boats now. Okay, I see. <laughs> boats. <laughs> boats. 
<laughs> Mine still <laughs> wants stone swords. Uh, I I did almost I think half a stack of uh, um, Quade start the reactor. Start the reactor. Um, breed. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to wait for breeding apparently. Oh, now this one wants emeralds. Golly. Okay. Okay, Percy and Reginald are staying here. For oh, bang. oh, bye. Excuse the cobblestone and sticks floating on Mars. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have a base being guarded by slimes, apparently. Um, I ventured out a ways to the north and did not find any new, um, any dungeons or whatever. Slimer, where are you? Reggie, What are you short. doing over here? Yeah. Shut slimes! They eat anything, almost anything. Mine specifically want boats and... Emeralds now. Golly. I now want gold. Mine wanted gold and then it got off it for like real quick. Oh, he's back on gunpowder. That's cheaper. Quick, get gunpowder. Get gunpowder. Wow, it wanted one gold and then now it wants fish. I don't have fish. Oh, it wants wooden hoes now. <laughs> Just on principle, I'm going to wait until that changes. Okay. Um, okay, so Percy is now attack damage 4.25 and his scale 49.2%. went up. I think you're growing normally, right? Yeah, they progressively grow too. Oh, okay. So long as they're loaded. Mm -hmm. Quick stream, give me another name for slime. Uh, what the heck are these? Oh, these are crowd chambers. Oh, cool. It took a little space for me to put them in. Yeah, that's fine. They look dope. I'm okay with this. Um, air. 29. Yeah, these slimes didn't get up. Hey, look, my air's refilled. <laughs> Pretty decent size. Is yours getting beefy? Oh. Actually, this one hasn't grown any. Unnamed. That's not very creative, name. Fox. <laughs> I can't think of a name. Uh, Eunice. Catherine, <laughs> Gerald, Gerald the slime. Gerald is good. Or Gerard, can you take the slimes back to the Oboe world? I don't know. Yes. Okay. Apparently Pick them up with a golden lasso and then put them back down on Earth. They mm -hmm. won't suffocate. They won't. Well, for what I know, they could have changed that. <laughs> Says squish. Who <Don't> wants <laughs> emeralds? <laughs> Ah, oh, sneezy. Mm, okay. Um, oh, that's a red slimeling egg. Nope, not going to open another slime. Two is enough for me. Probably two is too many for me. Are you kidding me? Now he wants swords. I'm just going to put him away and leave him be for him. Picard, William Riker, yes. Fallen Meteor. Now I want to play Slime Rancher again. That's probably a good thing. Okay, there's more Meteoric Iron. I get more experience, and I get a yellow slime. His name will be Picard. <laughs> Ta-da! Sean Luck. Because you can breed them with other colors. So you can make, like, a green one, and a purple one, and... Can I combine all the colors and make a white one? Yes. Weird. Because they're RGB based, it'd take you a while, but. <laughs> Maniac says, what color? HG Blob. Bunny. <laughs> Bunny. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. Lens head north. A giant hole in the ground. I see things over here on a ledge. Let's go see what they are. It's ice. Oh. You sounded so enthusiastic. Uh, <laughs> right. I think I found one. Found what, a dungeon? Yes. Woo. I can't tell though because I'm so far high up. So far. Yes, I'm so far high up. Ah! Nope, yeah. just random holes. Never yep. mind! Yep, confirmed. That was ice. <laughs> so, what's the finder speed for one of these dungeons? <laughs> 
Dun, 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 dun. Not taking your soul? What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Kind of cave. So I guess if people buy our uh, our space tourism pass, they can come up here and get their own slimes. Yes, thank you, preacher. <laughs> What's called? Um, blue slimeling egg. They're all over the place. They really are. Yeah, they're everywhere. They kind of spawn in like ore. And I found more dash, although we don't need it anymore. Uh, well, you know, I mean, more is always good. Less EMC we have to make. I'm actually looking for some of the carnivorous stuff. Wow, the landscape's really nice. I mean, it's boring as it's hell. Very... <laughs> yes. Boring as hell in terms of, like, you know variation of things, but the contours and the lines and stuff are really awesome. Yeah, there's no kind of plants down here. Check out the matter transmitters? What? Oh, no. Dare I ask? I don't dare I ask. I mean, seriously. A hundred blocks away from it. Yeah, I'm 800. Carnivorous stuff is down in the caverns. Hard to miss once you find one. There's carnivorous stuff here? What is he talking about? Carnivorous stuff is like... It, it's vines and uh, slimes and stuff that will hurt you. Oh. Underground, they're part of the cave systems. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the teleporters. These teleporters don't look any different. Uh, is his name on the whitelist still? Mall Rat 208. It should be on the one back at the workshop, too. Hmm. What are we supposed to be seeing with the matter transmitters? I ask. Available destinations. That's not the transmitter. That's the dialer. Oh, Rat Labs. He basically used us to get up here and then made his own base. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating! Yeah, not really. Cheating! Okay. <laughs> so apparently we have competition now. Um, hey. uh, by the way, did you notice, uh, uh, Aerodonian Fox, that we have 5.8k worth bu uh, buckets worth of uh, lava? Yes. Oh, the Martian one there is Same. outside a dungeon I don't need. Oh. We don't need it either. I was just exploring and explore. Um, yeah, we have like uh, 5,800 buckets of lava because I keep clearing out lava uh, ravines under our under our mountain. So. Okay. I'm going to get, let's get. Uh, resonant. Resonant. Probably gonna need like 12. Part of me wants to start building a base. I was fixing to air seal this one. And then we can relocate it later. <laughs> Wait, I we can off stream. We, we don't have to relocate it, we can just expand it. Perfect. Okay. Ugly floor. Check. Okay. Oh, actually, no. We're going to do... Mm. 
No, it'll have to be there. Never mind. And then we're going to do... Let's put that back in. Put that there. Um, shield projector. Two shield templates. So we're going to put this here. It is... Uh, redstone ignored... I feel like if I stood there very long, you'd turn it on and I'd suffocate to death. Why can I not? There we go. Thank nope. you, server. Ooh, whoa. Yeah, the sword is hitched there. Okay, so what do we do? We set this as um, solid for hostile. And uh, we do pass through the players. Pretty much. Um, I'm going to add hostile damage just because that it turned off. Hang on a second. Ah, there we go. Add stone. Yep. <laughs> It's mimicking it. Uh, why? Because we can. You just walk through the stone wall. Awesome. Super dumb. Uh, so we have this set up. Actually, that would probably be better. Hang on a second. I need a wrench to reset I it. Got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. So what we need to do... Where'd it go? It arched over you. There we go. Whoop. That's nice and uh, incognito, which means now uh, we could get... Uh, actually, it would be better if we did it near the RS system. But we can put an air compressor uh, or an air uh, sealer thing in here now. Um... We have a sealable. We have a sealable hole, uh, Aerodoni. I can do it. Uh -oh. I'm actually going to put it. I can do it. So, let's put the scannable thing there. I need to Oop. upgrade my uh, big X. I'm currently using a uh, diamond Aot, and it's not exactly functional. I like my diamond Aot. It's got Headhunter three, Unbreaking two, Sharpness five, and Looting three. Jeez. Yep. It's pretty dope. Yeah, yours is upgraded. Mine is <laughs> vanilla. Um, temper a lava-based power gen. Yes, actually, I was going to do that. Um, but we're having so much fun here. Uh, it's making a power gen. Um, do you want to do that? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I just sat. I just put down the advanced generator to see if it would fit where I wanted to, and it will. So I'm going to break it so I can rebuild it on server. Well, well on a stream. Okay. Bloop. Well, I'll tell you what, if Mr. Fox is going to get this, this uh, our Mars base air sealed, which it looks like he's doing. Whoop. Where's this going to? Yep, workshop. Okay. Back behind here. Oh, that. Bloop. I'm heading back to the mountain. All right, I'm in the power room. Um, I don't oh, yeah. have exporters learned. Okay, workshop, powerhouse. Dial once. Zoom! Okay, where were you going to put this thing? Oh, you're going to put it over here. Oh, uh, yeah, right, right this corner right here. I thought you wanted to have a separate space for it. I was able to actually shrink it down so I can mm. fit it within a 4x4 four four space. And it's, it's just taller. Oh, so it's just going to take up the, the whole vertical. Uh, not the whole vertical, but a pretty, I would say about yay high. Oh, okay, well, that's still, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So what Mr. Aerodonic Tribal is going to be doing ooh, is uh, he is setting up. What are those you're putting down? Oh, those are bronze turbines. Okay. Um, he's going to be setting up an advanced generator. And this is going to be using what is the power source? Uh, refined fuel. Right. So we've got refined fuel in the system. We've been finding oil deposits under the mountain uh, and Get under the up. moors pretty consistently and refining it automatically through a setup that I'll actually show you that uses our um, refined storage system. 
Stone on Mars, that's not conspicuous at all. <laughs> Vanilla, yeah. Is that going to be a 50 turbine generator, says Dark Preacher? Yes. Aha, there's your there's your answer. Fox says, I'm doing things. We have to do doing that. Things. Unfortunately, Malrat, to, to declare lots of fluids, we have to kind of cheat stuff in and then toss it. Hmm. Okay, so more things going in. Hang on a second. Uh, forge energy emitters. Is that the out? Yes. Okay, that's battery out. There was a thing under this. Uh, this... That was the... Oh, the uh, oxygen sealer up here is ah. having a fit. Fuel air mixer. We might. Do we need to replace the blocks? Maybe they're not considered uh. porous. Or solid. Um. Okay, yeah, so fuel air mixer... Gas mix compressor. Okay, awesome. Go ahead, go ahead. And those got... in, uh, those increase the uh, efficiency of the actual uh, turbine. Okay. And then you've got a fuel air intakes up here. I mean, fluid intakes up here. More yep. turbines. More turbines. How do you increase the priority on an exporter? <laughs> Point and done. The, a priority on an, on an exporter? Uh, I, I think it's got a priority. Does it not have a priority button? No. Or that I'm blind and I cannot see it. Uh, most things that have a priority button, is, it's a big button that says priority. So if you're not seeing something obvious, then I would say there's another problem. Um, okay. So these are all going to be power out into the main batteries. Um, yep. This thing is uh, peak production 10,000 RF per tick. That's nice. Of course, we don't have numbers on millibuckets per tick being used or anything yet. because We haven't started it up yet. Now, you have a uh, fluid intake here, which we're yep. going to be, what, exporting from the RS system? Are you going to use a... Yes. Are you going to use uh, a wireless, or are you going to do ender tanks? Because we could do ender tanks. We could do ender tanks. Um, that would save us in some wireless nonsense, honestly. It would. Um, we do have a couple of other ender tanks we could recolor. Because that way you put one over there in the actual control room and just do export. And then over here, yeah. we pipe it out with some some of those doodads. Super laminar fluid ducts. These are are these the fastest? They are or, the fastest. The fastest fluid ducts. Any temperature fluid ducts. Okay. Um, Mars is sealed. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Night part said, "How did the Mars trip go? It went very well. We've got a base up there already, and it's apparently already air sealed by the diligent Mister Fox." And uh, Aridani hooked up the hooked up IT, <laughs> came in and hooked up the computer, so uh, we're good. Exporter well, so is always long as the computer, okay. so long as the computer's hooked up, we should be fine. Yeah. I mean, if we wanted to, we could do a buffer tank up there, just do an endurium tank. I'm trying to figure that out at the moment. It's a yeah. little crammed, and I don't want to expand it too large because I don't uh, know the range on one of these sealers. Uh, put it under the floor and pipe up from the... Maybe. I don't know. You, you, you're you looking at the space better. You have a better idea of what you can work with. Yeah, Maniac says exporters don't have a priority. Storage buses do. Could be wrong. That actually sounds correct. I think buses just kind of work automatically. Um, uh, I don't... I think that the storage bus is the only one that have priorities on. Upgrading those turbines from bronze to endurium will, will not be cheap or easy. No, it was like four times EMC cost, which is why I didn't do it. This would have cost well over a million EMC if I had just used Ethereum. Eh, it's not oh. bad, honestly, in a million. If you want to later, we can, but this is yeah, yeah. already producing 10,000 a tick. We can work up to it just for the sake of absurdity, just to make things extra yep. dumb. All right. Uh, I set this as a uh, all yellow iron tank for the refined fuel. Right, and that's on the team thing. Now, I'm going to go over this again. We went over this last week, but let me re recover this just, just a quick second. Uh, the Ender Tanks mod that we're using and the actual Ender Storage mod that we're using for Ender Chests have not only diamonds for personal tanks and personal chests, but they have emeralds, which uses the vanilla teams system, which is why our names, where'd you go? Our names are purple, yep. whereas everybody else's are white, because we're on a team. I know, Marat. We're on a team CSM, or Coop Street Mafia. Is Marat in here? No, he's up by the Mars. Oh, okay. Um... So, uh, Mars Regolith, where did it come from? Um, so basically, we have emerald assigned tanks, which is why if you look in the top left corner there, the bottom thing on the one probe tooltip says 
dash CSM dash. That is basically Coop Street Mafia flagged. We can put those down. and Any three of us can put them down and actually uh, uh, make use of them. And it all ties into the same system. So he's going to have one of those hooked up to our refined storage system back in uh, the tower. And yep. it will be exporting refined fuel. This will be pulling out refined fuel here and piping it into the actual generator. That way, we don't have to run a whole length of uh, refined storage cables or another wireless system, et cetera, et cetera. Try to keep those down to only for interdimensional travel, which yeah. is, you have to use that for. Um, so, yeah. The workshop. Does Project Whoa. E have the EMC flowers the EE had? Yes. Um, we have those. As a matter of fact, I have one I can show you real quick while Eridani is getting this set up. And I can also explain to you. Perfect. Um, okay. So this is our refined storage system. It's in this corner because this entire corner. Let me see if we can do this. F3 plus G. This is all one chunk. If you notice right here, this is one chunk. We try to keep the entire system in one chunk. It keeps it nice and it keeps it clean. So uh, this is our input tank right here. Triple black. It's got a bucket tied to it. I take this and go mining and look for lava pools and oil, and oil, uh, oil uh, uh, pools and stuff like this. As I use the bucket, it goes into the tank. The tank imports it into the system, and it ends up here. That's why we have refined fuel like this sitting there so that we can actually... I can dynamically be collecting this stuff while um, I'm out mining, and it is getting processed in it automatically. So... It's going... There we go. I'll be there in a sec. If you look yep. here, this system exports oil. It goes into this tank. It comes down here to a fractionating still, which turns it into naphtha and puts it over into another fractionating still. There you go, naphtha right there. And that turns this naphtha into refined fuel, which goes here, gets imported back in the system for storage, and we can do it uh, other things with it later. These are thermal mediators that we're piping water in from these water storage blocks. Basically, this, these things use water as a fuel to cool down these machines and make them work faster. So, yeah, I have two phantom interfaces. These phantom faces are connected to these two blocks. So that's how I'm piping the contents of these two out because I have power piping going underneath these with the uh, fluids piping in through those. That's how I can actually get the items out and not have to pipe them out of the uh, actual machines directly. So it's a nice, simple setup that we've actually got. In terms of power flowers, look, we've got this one. I'm getting some hitching periodically. It's kind of weird, though. Um, this is a max size power flower. It actually goes into the floor, and it completely encompasses the energy collector. I mean, the energy condenser, which means you can't get stuff out of it, right? No, phantom faces to the rescue. You remotely connect this. It says this connect the connected block is energy condenser mark two at, and it gives coordinates nine blocks away. This is basically acting as the energy condenser mark two. This pulls stuff out. And look, red matter blocks from nothing. Dun, dun, dun. It's nice. Hello. It's easy. It's easy. Hey, Fox, what's going on? I am going to... The Mars Mar is sealed. Awesome. It looks pretty. And Yay. the generator is functioning. Okay, I'm back in the powerhouse. I want to see what's going on with this thing monster. Okay, the lights are on. There's refined fuel and it is filling up its internal bat. 250 million power? Oh my god. It has a giant internal battery. I, I put all as many as I could of the max uh, high density power capacitors, which each hold 25 million RF apiece. Wow. Okay, 2.7 millibuckets. Wow, only 2.7 millibuckets per tick. That's pretty low. I mean, that's not 2.7 buckets per tick. That's 2.7 millibuckets, and 1,000 millibuckets is a whole bucket. So, I mean, this is using, like, uh, oh, gosh, i got to think about this. 0. 0.02. Yeah, it's like, no, because it, 0.2 would be, if it was, that would be 0.2 if a bucket was 100 millibuckets. Since it's 1,000, I think it's 0. 0.02, I think. I think it's using 0. 0.027 of a bucket. Whatever. Yes. It's, it's a super tiny amount. Current fuel consumption, 2.8. Uh, peak fuel consumption efficiency, wow, 185%. Current power production, 10,000 RF per tick, and it's filling that battery up like a champ. That's awesome. 
Okay. So this is a, a banger of a build for power. Thank you. We have yep. no fear of ever running out of power again. Yeah, so if we and go... Honestly, we have no fear of running out of refined fuel either, because I can just jerry-rig that refined fuel setup or set up another one to instead of using oil, I can just use coal and have coal being produced by a uh, EMC. energy condenser. Yeah, exactly. So we, we're, we're not... Actually, that might be a good idea. Um, uh, so we have power down here that all these are piping into, these advanced cells. These are staying topped off, and this is a remotely connected network of 52 million RF. Now, we also have about 50 or 60 million RF of power sitting in the solar cells that are up on top of the mountain. Oh, could you pick a worse time to call? Really? No, I do not want to buy your widgets or deal in the flodgers. Go away. Dark Preacher says it's point zero zero two seven. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, you were right, Fox. Yeah, point zero zero two seven. Send gas you. from coal, yeah. Yeah, math um, is... It, it'd actually be better off to use coal to refine fuel because sing gas only nets to about 1,000 RF uh, per bucket. Uh, the... Or, or, or whatever, like, like the, the base calculation was for a one-part generator. Yeah. Uh, refined fuel is about 50% more than that, so... I yeah. noticed that those turbines are only copper. Uh, no, they're bronze. If you upgraded them? There's a bronze. Uh, yeah, bronze, these are bronze. Yes. The next step up would be Enderium. Uh, it would probably... Hold on. Uh, advanced generator. Morat says that is three and a quarter buckets a minute. Which is, honestly, Insane. that's that's a good rate, I think. Because yeah. once the once the internal battery slacks, uh, maxes out, this will stop running, right? I, it should. It should yeah. throttle down. So it'll, yeah, it'll auto-throttle. Auto uh, so yeah, we, we basically just let it go. The only thing we might need to do is set up that coal to uh, refined fuel thing you were talking about. And it, then pipe, it's, pipe. I think it's like one or two more machines. That's it. Yeah, and we could set that up, pipe that in. Uh, yeah, that could be nice. Uh, the bronze turbine produces up to 200 RF per tick. Ethereum's up to 500 RF per tick. So... Yeah. That would be a massive like power boost. 25,000 RF per tick. Yep. Couldn't we technically make this taller, take it all the way to the ceiling? Uh, or is there a max number of blocks generators? As I can put it in. Yeah, there, there's a max number of blocks you put into a ah, generator. Okay, so there's a max to... There is a maximum number of things you can stick onto it. You're getting yep. about 3.7 million RF per bucket. That's <laughs> nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. So... What's funny is that it's still dwarf for the fusion reactor I want to build. <laughs> now... <laughs> Here's the funny thing also, Eridani is working on bees, and one of the bees we want to make actually makes bursts of RF power, right? It's stupid. So, combined, we have a lot of power systems. We, we, we have, the Mafia has their fingers in many power pies. We, we are going to be fine for power production. We could probably start renting it out. Selling it by we the RF. Could. <laughs> selling it by the RF battery yeah. full. <laughs> we could put a we could put power tap somewhere and have people bring their battery and charge it up if we wanted to. Um mechanism power we don't have mechanism in the pack, Russell, sorry. We had mechanism mechanism can go. Uh, was mechanism in wasted? <laughs> mechanism was in yes. wasted, right? Yeah, yeah, we had mechanism yes, I wasted. Did, I did their fusion reactor yeah. in our wasted playthrough. We did we did. We had a fusion reactor that was gloriously decorated in in stone and sponge. <laughs> Guess whose idea that was, that was. The colorblind guy um, You'd need 11 enderium ingots per turbine To upgrade 50 times 11 is 550 enderium ingots Total to upgrade the entire generator um, Hang on a second So if we do enderium ingots The enderium turbine is equal to A single emerald 19,000 no, 20, emeralds 000. are 16,000. Oh, well. A little so it's bit more better. expensive. It's more expensive. So that is 1,601 enderium in, uh, uh, EMC per ingot. So if somebody wants to get 1,601 and multiply it times 550, I can wait. I'm patient. <laughs> I can't do that. 1,601 times 50 equals 80,000. No, 550. Yeah, 550. What was the math again? 
I'll get the calculator. Do what? <laughs> 16. made 50 of the turbine upgrade kits. It's 881,250 EMC. Yeah, 880, yeah, 881,000 EMC, which is honestly, that's not a drop in the bucket right now. So he is going, now upgrading them all. Yeah, he is now well. upgrading everything. He may have to go through the wall. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that was quick and easy. Yeah, we got that kind of money. We get some good investors backing us on this project. Currently up to 20.5. I may have actually power. underestimated how much power this is actually going to create. I do have to dig into it because I need to be able to access the turbines. <laughs> Don't forget the ones back there that you, uh, yep. yeah, those two. I'm just trying to avoid breaking the actual, uh, battery parts. Yep. So we don't lose any of the existing power. Even if we did, it actually wouldn't matter all that much. <laughs> I mean, really. Okay. Magnet mode on. An egg, too. I hadn't picked up any. Yeah, I did not get anything. Actually, ever since I disconnected this third methane generator over here, these energy cells have actually started filling themselves up. Because <laughs> when someone threw the cables down, they disconnected this one, but this one was still connected. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's digging. Bob's he's, digging. Where'd you he's lie? burrowing deep. You got one up here, by the way. And no, you got oh, two up here. Two right there on the top. Oh yeah, that's it. Point. Point. All right. So now you basically rebuild the whole thing. Yep. Shmanamagam. And I get to see the power jump. 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I said it hovered. I'm going down. There we go. 21, 22, 24,000, 25,000. That's it. Yeah, 25,000 RF per tick. Woohoo! Awesome. It only uses 6.8 millibuckets per tick. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, and it's got 139. Wait a minute, there's a comma being left off somewhere. Yeah, okay. That number might be confusing the one probe. Because the one probe says it's got 14 million RF. But if you look, it's actually got 148 million RF. It's like it's, yeah. it's over one. We need to talk to me, Jitty, about that. I'm actually going to take it's a... It's like it's missing a zero. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, because one probe it says it's seven. The last digits are like two nine zero, two nine zero on the uh, probe. Yeah. But in the there, math it's is off slightly. It looks like. Yeah. Okay, well I took some screenshots. We can share them with McJitty later. We can do a bug report. Um, okay, so are you in the billions on power per tick yet? We're Not going at a uh, <laughs> Not the fusion reactor. No. <laughs> Yeah, this would be millions, maybe. I don't know. We were getting 3 point something million earlier, according to Mallrat. What was it he said? Uh, you're getting 3.7 million RF per bucket. Yeah, and that was with the bronze ones. Yeah, and I mean, that was RF per bucket, and we were using, what was it? 3.8 buckets per tick? 2.8 buckets per yeah, tick. Yeah, 2.8. So that was technically um, 6. Uh, that's almost 8 million RF per tick. Is what that was doing, because you're yeah. two point eight buckets per. So yeah, yeah, we were doing uh, probably almost eight eight million buckets per tick is what I mean eight million RF per tick is what we were doing. Um, so yeah, well this thing is filling up absurdly fast now. Well, thanks to the calculator giving me decimals, we are doing about three three what is it thousand million. A 3.676 million per bucket. Okay. And we've got 2,400 buckets. Of Unless Mallrats is otherwise, I think I did the math. I might have done the math. You'll need more power! That explains the child safety outlet, says Mallrats. That's funny. Um, okay. 
Yeah, this isn't the last power project. We still have bees. We've got some lava and steam-based solutions I want to get into. And we still have fusion. So um, I don't know what we're going to do with all this power other than maybe research the bees because it uses a ton. Um, <laughs> I feel like I did that math wrong because this is producing less power than... Okay. Um, I went along to get a little grammar history again. It was no, go. Uh, three point yeah, about three point seven million uh, RF per bucket. Then I went and timed it by twenty four hundred because, because of how many buckets. The number was so big, my phone spat out a number in scientific notation. So six point four e two hundred ninety <laughs> nine. What? <laughs> I was um, like, 8.82? Oh, there's an E9 at the end there. That's why. <laughs> yeah, 3,676,470 yep. RF per bucket. Yeah, and it's actually I, making less. Well, it, it's going to go down slightly the more power it's yielding, I think. My client just hitched for a second. Yeah, yeah and it affected your... Uh... Super weird. Okay. Nearly 9... Billion RF for how much uh, refined fuel we have. There you go. <laughs> 8.8 yeah. billion RF in 2,400 buckets of refined fuel. I think we're set, hey, kids. Hey, Bigram. <laughs> yeah? That lonely cow, li- little lonely cow is still up here. Is it? Hello, lonely <laughs> Quick, cow. Quick, someone get a name tag. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Oh, no, he's climbing down the... Cliff. Don't scare him. Get back up here. I'm not scaring him. <laughs> nope. Where's he going? Ooh, hitch. Oh, Went there he down is. the back of the mountain. And Russell says it's nearly a full draconic orb. At what tier, I wonder. There we go. Yeah, what tier? Because like I can say right now, the Draconic Orb can be absolutely stupid in terms of power generation. There's only a couple of things out there that can actually match it, and that's old IC2 or Tech Reborn fusion reactors, the Mechanism fusion reactor, and maybe the Nuclear Craft fusion reactor. That's about it. That can be a Draconic Evolution power a reactor. Okay, the Lonely took Cow. A couple screenshots of the Lonely yeah. Cow. The Lonely Cow has been named. Uh, okay. He will now never despawn. <laughs> nope. Cliff he will the be cow. forever on the cliff. <laughs> yeah, that is Cliff the cow. If forever now. Oh, I got a project cow. done today. Sweet. I am actually going to change this dialer back to the Mars base. I'm going to do dial once. I'm going to go I'm see. I'm going to run over to the construction area downstairs real quick. Yeah, okay. So we have our Somebody sealed up the construction area. <laughs> My configuration is invalid. Broken oh. Ooh, if, a, if an armor plate breaks. Um That means that your armor is not armor anymore. It's not sealed. That's not bueno. I'm not sure why mine broke, but... Continuous damage effect on Mars? I don't know, I guess. Hope Ooh. not. Um, um... And yeah, that's not counting the uh, 8,000 RF per tick we get during the day of the solar panels. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we're, we're kind of broken on the power front. We're, we're good. Let's do this. I did not check my armor damage levels. I think they might have been damaged before I went up there. I'm not sure. Maybe pretty low. There we go. Okay. Let's go Mars base. Down once. Forgot we had Ender Hoppers. Yep. Cliff needs a notebook. That's funny. Um, awesome. God. Actually, do we have that division sigil? I could do that. Uh, what?
Okay, that was super weird. Oh, we do have iridium now, actually. Unstable ingot. Yeah, air's going down. I don't know why, but I initially stepped out and it it just kind of hit me hit me once. Um, why are these guys not sitting anymore? I left and came back and they're moving around. Apparently, extra utility has removed their um, division sigil. It's now iron stick and diamond. Wait, what? When was for... that a thing? For what? For the division? What are you talking about? Iron stick and diamond for what? Unstable ingot. Oh. They might removed the division sigil. Um. Will explode if crafted. If the if you leave the crafting window. Um, honestly, do the stable, unstable nugget. It's got an EMC value, and we can just copy them that way. It's dumb, but, you know, whatever. Um, that way the stable, unstable ingots will have a division, will have an EMC value, and we can just make them that way, and it's a lot safer. And yep. I don't know when they changed that. I'm actually not sure. Uh, that is news to me. Mars base. Um... Uh, back to the workshop. It is already down there. Hey, what do you know? I should check the tooltips. My part says bees. 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 Need a vanilla crafting table, I think. The, uh, yeah, you have to use a vanilla crafting table. Yeah, we have two vanilla crafting tables. Nope, I just crafted it inside of my uh, philosopher's stone. Uh, oh, well, I think that counts as a vanilla crafting table, actually. <laughs> Division sigil has been gone since 1710, says Pops. No, really? No. I thought it was in 1710. It, it, was was in, in... it was in 110. I know it was in 110 because uh, uh, I did the ritual for it in 110 on Forgecraft at one point. Uh, uh, but yeah, I knew it was at least back at 1710 because I had done it at 1710. Yeah. I'm guessing it dro got dropped from 110 to 112. I mean... It, I'm okay with this. It simplifies a couple of steps because it wasn't it really used for anything else. Uh, now, if we make those, we could actually replace our shield generators with ineffable glass, and that will air seal. Uh, unless we messed up a uh, configuration file. Um, yeah, Moonstone, you used to have to mine up as well. And now, apparently, you make it with lunar reactive dust? What are you... Oh, we can oh get that's right. And then you can make the... Um... We can get a lunar reactive dust chicken, apparently. That's funny. Huh? The cursed dirt, the cursed dirt was the... Um... That was the uh, drop of evil. Drop of evil. Yeah, yeah, you get drops of evil in you. But, I mean, drop of evil used to be... Can you do cursed earth? Can you do cursed earth? Right-click store with a drop of evil. I'm not sure I've seen a drop of evil actually drop. Don't you have to get those from... Wither skeletons? What's the use of... Oh, moonstone is used for the ineffable glass. Okay. Let's put that there. Let's get this. Dude. Dude. Awesome. Oh, jeez. Okay. I need to empty my freaking backpack. Um. I'm about to do dum-dum, perhaps? What are you doing? Oh, stable, unstable ingot, and it's yeah. got an EMC value. Yeah, those don't explode. That way, if you get nine of those things, you can make a stable, unstable ingot from a nugget. You have that... you have ingots and nuggets in the system. <coughs> okay, which means now, if I do stable, we can do unstable ingot, and I hit U, and we can actually see. Um... Okay, what do you what do you use the ingots for? I'm the rock yeah, these things have way less use now. Um, wow, my clients. Yeah. Uh, and yes, uh, confirmation. It will fluttle down to zero if it's not if there's no power being used. Awesome. So it stops using fuel. That's great. Um, box spot is flapping. Yeah, that's a bug. We can't get it to stop. Um, I can't stop it. Port there says it's also mineable. What? No lunar panels yet. Um, our ultimate solar panels. Let me show you those real quick. We can go back over these things again. They're they're bonkers. 
Um, these are IC2 technology. Fox is way faster than me. Um, oh, flying. wait a minute. When did we get these? Oh, we consolidated these. When did this Yeah, happen? I haven't been around a little bit. I just did it. Oh, weirdo. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, I pulled out all the batteries because we didn't need them anymore because... Uh, okay, that makes sense. We hook up cables to them now because that bug got fixed. So these are oh, set yeah, to that's right. input? All those are set to all sides input on these? Yep. Power cells? Okay, awesome. Um, okay, so ultimate solar panels. Now, if I remember right, there's even a step above these, right? There is a step above, quantum. Extreme, which is, oh, quantum, uh, quantum. Um, okay, ultimate solar panels, that is... They store a million RF each. Just ignore the FE thing. It's forge energy. That's the same as RF. Uh, it generates a thousand RF per tick during the day and 64 at night. So even at night, these are still generating 64 times eight per power, which I think is 512. Yes. 512. So it's 512 RF per tick at night or 8,000 RF per tick during the day. I mean, this alone has been powering and keeping the lights on in the mountain for a while now. We've got other yeah. solutions now. We've got chicken poop is being turned into methane, and that's been harnessed. Uh, we now have the advanced generator. We're going to have RFBs from the Career Bees mod, and we're going to have a fusion reactor in space. Um, yeah, uh, uh, research and development department predicts that radiation risk should be minimal, so we are considering putting a casino around it, but plans are still out on that. Let's put it on top of it. Sure. Customers might glow in the dark periodically after prolonged trips to the that casino, but you know we'll see. Um, it's a free the movers have finally installed some of the cubicles to the second floor. Uh, oh, oh yeah, hang on a second. Let's go up and over the receptionist desk, back around the elevators, and I'm gonna go up the floor. And uh, we have oh oh these are awesome. Perfect. Uh. <laughs> Perfect height. They're full height cubicles for chickens. There's also an overseer's central area. Do what? I see it all. It's a, oh my God, it literally is an overseer's area. This is hilarious. Um. Oh my God, this is awesome. I love this. This arrangement will change depending on how high you, we are up because eventually the walls will get too narrow to keep yeah. building out this far. Ooh, sconces. Okay. Actually, there's two we've got at the moment that Vigor liked. I really like this one on the right. It looks really, really swanky. This one's pretty cool too, though. I, I do like this one. They, uh, they produce the same amount of light because they've reached the maximum light blocks. Right. <clears throat> This is awesome. This little man. dinky one over here does nothing for light. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. no light difference. Your magnet is on, sir. So. No. Or someone's. That's fine. Just place it somewhere. Wow. Yeah. I'd right back one, where it was. I'd want one of these cubicles over here, man. You get up, get one with the wall behind you. That way you can put your desk like right here. You put your chair back up against it. You could look out. I want to have a cubicle right here. <laughs> Actually, I was planning to do these ones in the corner to extend into that corner. Yeah. I just had to figure out how to get that corner to work. I'll just put lights up here. Sir, you're in between the cubicles. <laughs> This is awesome. I may just leave it as it is and then put like a lamp or something right there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. We are in the last 15 minutes of the live stream. Um, real quick, I want to go up front and do some planning around the top deck of the mountain. Um, some planning? Some planning. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so one thing one that we wanted, that I want to do um, all the stone and gravel and whatever, all the flooring here needs to get replaced uh, with marble. Um, this thing right here, I want some kind of hand railing kind of thing or decorative or whatever. I don't know, maybe a little water fountain thing that runs down the side of the hill. It could be nice. Um, this part right here that is actually all marble. I didn't do... Who did this? Not me. Oh, it wasn't me. I haven't done much of this, of this kind of building. You're a spider, Fox. I have a feeling we got 
Am I a spider? Yes. No, I'm a... <laughs> I'm hitched. Here, let's make it more worthwhile. Uh, that's... Oh, I'm now really? a cut spider. Gross. <laughs> uh, did we... Okay, I need to quit and make a quick surveillance again. Did some... Uh-oh. I might have to log out and restart my client. Hitch. Yeah, by hey, the way... Hey, you went invisible. Oh, and you're all the way up there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, give me just a second. Uh, I'm going to go to... There we go, spinning on astronaut for just a second. I'm actually going to... That says, uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yep. We, ask, we would also like to politely know who... <clears throat> Hang on a sec. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me just a second. It It is hitching while I'm trying to shut it down. Oh, yeah, you're hitching bad. There we go. Oh, my God. Okay, it's shut down. Uh, somebody replaced a whole bunch of our mountain, and they weren't supposed to. They messed up the uh, the outline that I actually had going for the pond, and I don't know who Whoops. was being polite, but they messed up a lot of work. <laughs> um, so... Uh, uh, Speaking of the casino, did you ever get the vodka pool made? No, that's what I'm ma mapping out right now, or I was before I had to log out because of a memory leak. I'm very eager to log in, uh, to update the server to 1.0.6 because connected textures mod, the CTM, um, is actually, it might be the culprit for our memory leak because there's an update for that that fixes a rendering bug memory leak. And almost every time that we're having this problem, we're around blocks that are using CTM. So I think that is what's causing this build-up client hitch thing that we have to restart our clients with it once more. So I'm very eager to update to 106 and see if that has to uh, fix it. Uh, Nightpart says, gotta go. Good all. We'll watch the reruns on Tuesday. See you, uh, see you later, Nightpart. Um, which was the Jeopardy thing. Da -na -na -na. Yeah, um, yeah, now it's stuck in my head. Yep. Uh, so, okay. What I was going to go plan was how to outline the actual aquarium. Now I have to redefine where the outline is going to be because somebody messed it up. And uh, I'm not sure. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, because I didn't swap all that stuff out. There's even a chest with marble sitting there. I'm, I'm not sure who helped, but please. I don't. hadn't come over here. Yeah. In quite the while. Yeah. Um. Okay. I am actually starting back up. Give me just a minute. We'll be back on the server. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little flummoxed as to how that happened, but basically I was going to outline what we were going to be doing on the Thursday stream. We're going to be doing some massive space excavation inside the actual mountain. We're going to do, be doing a lot of digging because we need to make room for the casino floor. That's going to be a multi-tiered operation. That's going to be connecting with a lot of the hallways that we already have mapped out or at least markers for them mapped out. Uh, from the elevator shaft. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of the actual core construction that needs to actually happen. And a big chunk of that is right around that area that was going to be a lagoon that was going to connect to an aquarium going down the middle of the actual uh, casino floor. Um, but somebody helped and kind of messed our plans up. So I don't know. Um, but we'll still do it. We'll figure it out. I might just have to go look at some old live streams to look at the shape and get some screenshots and work from there. Um, don't know. Uh, I guess now that they've completely paved over it, we can start from scratch. I guess, yeah. Thank you, Porthir, for the 100 bits. Woo, Porthir, cheer for 100 bits. Thank you very much. Porthir is oh, Lunatic Asylum on this. the server. Oh, that reminds me. We need to go buy some cryo ducks from that man from Spawn. Okay, um, I do this. Yeah, we should probably go buy some cryo ducks. Well, no, for the advanced gen is fine because they're only hitting the very top of the resident ducks. But we will eventually want cryo we ducks. Should, we should probably start nibbling at buying them so we can stockpile. Um, yeah. okay. So there was... Look what, like, from, from here, 
all the way across. There was actually a walkway, um, I think, embedded into the floor, and then the rest of this was lower down. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of off on where I want things now because I already had it planned out. Um, a lot of stuff got changed, too. Actually, yeah. SG Mini, that's Coop Life 2 itself. It doesn't take long to launch Coop Life 2 anymore. Wait, who, what, where? <laughs> he isn't, SG Mini was drooling over the loading speed. And then he said it takes about 30 minutes for him to load most spawn packs. Oh, yeah. That's uh, Wasted and uh, uh, Coop Life 2 because of how we tuned them and because of how specific we were in restrictions for the number of mods. Most of those, both those packs are about 100 to 115 mod mods. If you're playing stuff like Sevtech or uh, what was that, all the mods, three and stuff like that, they're going to take you a while. Our mod packs are designed to load thick quicker because we don't go nuts with quick with picking out all the mods. Um, yeah, this does not make me happy. I'm a grumpy, I'm a grumpy chicken now. Because there was already a predefined kind of a pattern of an oval that was like somewhere around here, and I can't see it now because it was under where this was. They basically filled up and then paved over with marble. And uh, uh, we already had a specific design we wanted to do. And they left a chest behind of big tile marble. That's the thing that confuses me. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Anyway. Let's go up here for the time being. This has not been messed with. Um, okay, so... Some more right about no, here. No, I also see the uh, elevator design hasn't been touched either. Although I'd, I'd want to kind of mess with it just a little bit. The natural design right here got a little weird right here. Wait, where, where are you? Up here by the elevator. Outline. On oh, the other yeah. end of the... Yeah, I actually did that white line on a stream once uh, where I was working alone. I want to redo some of the mountain That's part right here because it got weird right here and I don't know how well we can stick an elevator right there. <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. Well, I figured the elevator would be in the embedded in the mountain behind glass or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe we could do a um, an RF tools one there and just keep that as the only one. I'm not sure. I have a really tall ladder. Um, okay, so I want to do, wait a minute, this is, yeah, on five, okay, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, and uh, this is going to go out a distance, probably over to like here, and then somewhere, Hey, look, it lines up. Um, uh, okay, so it's probably going to be something like that. I'd considered extending it out farther, but I think this whole area back here would be better served as having, like, deck chairs and stuff. Uh, we might have to make them as multi-part segments, but that's fine. Um, this is going to be a pool. It is going to slope up at this end. The down slope, I say. It's going to block up at this end. Um, this is going to be deeper. Um, and I'm thinking that it would be cool if we could put a section of glass in the bottom of the deep end, like even if it's just a two block wide strip that looked down over this end of the actual casino. So on the casino floor, if you were standing on like the second, second floor, because the casino floor is going to be a big open room. And then around the outside wall, there's going to be a second floor and a third floor kind of balcony around the outside walls that will connect to the hallways and stuff in the other rooms. Uh, so you'll be able to walk around and look down on the casino floor. I figured it'd be cool if we could have like a some glass here that would look down on one of those balcony areas so you could look up and see. That would be neat. And then we we're going to have um, the bottom of the actual lagoon funneling down into a kind of a tank or going straight down wall into a tank would be a big fish tank going down the center of the rest of the actual casino. And I'm, I'm thinking big here. It's going to have some different floors and different... It's going to have some kind of different tiered sections. It's not just going to be big and flat. It's going to have some raised areas and some lowered areas and stuff like this. And we're going to kind of undulate it a little bit, but I think it's going to look really good. And I thought we could do a kind of a blue-green, um, maybe dark and light blue and some greens and maybe some other 
colors from some of that coral that we were using on Friday. What was it? There was pink coral and orange coral. And we could offset some highlights from some of that coral that's in the actual tank. We could use some of that stuff. I'm still pissed the kelp doesn't grow. That's a different argument, though. Um, uh, <laughs> um, it doesn't. We can't even use bone meal on it. It does nothing. Uh, but, yeah, we'll have that stuff in the tank. And then we can do blues and light blues and dark blues, greens, and uh, maybe some other, I don't know, teal colors or something like that. Some oceany kind of colors. And uh, uh, generally theme the whole casino floor around some of that with the, with the, uh, the uh, actual fish tank going down the middle. I think it would look really cool. And it would contrast from having the same dang thing that's throughout the rest of the whole casino build. You know, the same carpet, the same walls, the same windows. Get a little bit of a kind of a contrast in the casino floor. I thought that looked really nice. Um, so, yeah. Steam Engineering 2 is a fast loading pack, too. And I need to put out the last release of that. Yeah. Um, Steam Engineering 2. Um, Coop Life 2. Wasted. I want to say that Skysom has done... Was it Skysom that did some packs? I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. Um, we've had some other people in the community that make smaller and lighter and faster mod packs. Not all the mod packs are crazy numbers and stuff. Worst case scenario, Bay, you can look at last stream videos for the layout of the oval. Yes, past stream videos. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that, Maniac. I'm not sure um, uh, what the plan is. Uh, right now, I had planned on doing an infinity pool all the way up to the edge. I might still do that. I'm not sure, though. From where? Uh, basically, you do it from here, and you have this actually would be the edge would actually be one block lower, right? So this whole section right here, the pool would come right up to it and then overflow, and then we would sculpt this a little bit so it would come down here, come down here, and you remember we were going to make a little walkway. We were going to burrow out through here so you could walk behind the waterfall. Remember that? All right. Yeah, and then we were going to have the water come from the pool over down and flow down here into the lagoon area. And this was basically going to be the top of a opening of a fish tank. It would just go straight straight walls down. It wouldn't funnel down or anything. It'd straight walls down, and um, we could plant stuff in it and do some kind of you know natural growth-looking uh, little rocky things in the middle of it. If we wanted to be really clever, we could maybe um, put some chests in there, like treasure chests and stuff like that. Um, uh, it's going to look gross because it's going to have air, air around the block, but whatever. Um, oh, wait a minute. Um, extra utils. It used to have a chest, and I'm not sure it ever got put back in. I don't think it ever did. Uh, there was a chest that was full a full block width and full block height. It held the same. Oh, the bigger yeah, chest. Yeah, slightly larger chest. Yeah, they have it. And it, it, it held the same number of slots as a vanilla chest, and it didn't require um, clearance on the roof to open. Um, but uh, you could put it in there. We could put those in the actual aquarium, dot a couple of them around, like they're, you know, sunken treasure from Pirate or whatever. Um, but yeah... I was thinking about doing this all the way down, and then we were going to do something right around um, either here or up here. We were going to put a jacuzzi. I think it was actually going to go over here. There's going to be a hot and That's tub. where the original elevators were supposed to be, and then we moved them over here. The elevators where? What, who were? Oh, yeah. If they I were recall gonna... right, the elevators used to be over here. And yeah, they were going to come up. Over there. And we had an observation deck built into the front of the mountain there, but I, I ended up thinking that looked weird. Um, I like this idea better because we were going to do this as a kind of a glassed-in building, and we were going to put a um, second floor with a star clocks on it and have some stairs going up. You remember? Yes. Backups. Um, yes, backups are good. Um, it's also kind of convenient because that one... I think that one specifically times the uh, end of the stream. Yep. <laughs> it's dependent. It doesn't run all the time. Uh, it's based upon pe when people are on. So if there's less people on over the course of the day, like there was today, the time gets thrown off a little bit. Chicken jacuzzi, a.k.a. a crock pot. Yes, thank you. Um, <clears throat> it only cooks you if you're dead. Um, we're going to put a jacuzzi over here. We're going to do 
a big pool with water. Um, I don't know. We're going to do the jacuzzi now, or we're just going to do a smaller tub and just make it a vodka tub, basically. A vodka, a vodka jacuzzi. Except it won't be hot. Probably do something like that. So well, if it was hot, it wouldn't be alcoholic anymore. Yeah. Um, option number two is if we put the vodka pool up here in the kind of the VIP section, which might be a good idea because we could butt it up against the, right, the, where, the railing that we're supposed to have on this massive OSHA hazard. Um, yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of uh, design ideas, but the thing that we're going to work on Thursday night is hammering out a big chunk of the mountain directly beneath that area and cross connecting a lot of the hallways finally we're not going to decorate it they're just going to be stone hallways for now but we're going to cross connect to kind of line things up and get things going on where we want some of the more permanent segments of the actual uh design to be i'm also finally going to map out the bones of the actual building for the casino itself the main front entrance uh so we can start figuring out what we want to do where so yeah i think it's gonna be cool we should definitely stick to like the copper orange and white theme for the front building yeah yeah i definitely think so i think the front building should basically mat a mirror in a lot of aspects mirror the tower and the uh, uh that front entrance hallway that we've got right there so yeah um i'm probably also going to pull this corner of the building over here nearest to me all the way back into the mountain front so it connects with that hallway down there um, I think that'll look a bit more seamless, but uh, I'm not sure 100% yet. Uh, okay, I think this is going to be a good stopping point for the stream. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out with us. Fine, uh, ah, fine Monday evening. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m., Texas time, we're going to have some Wild Star uh, with me and Fox again, if you're up for that again, Fox. Yeah, so long as I'm not busy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, tomorrow evening, basically, it's just going to kind of be pick and play. Um, I'm going to probably mess around with a game called Tokyo 42, but Tuesday nights are going to become my kind of random game time slot where I can grab something, whatever, unplanned, and either play with the community or just run through something myself. I'm thinking about doing, messing around with a game called Tokyo 42 tomorrow evening. It does have multiplayer. I just don't know who owns it. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I'll see folks tomorrow. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to pick on Aerodonna. Aerodonna, do you have any parting words of wisdom for our audience? Nope. Crap. What good are you? I mean, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll catch you folks later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.